Hey everyone! In today's lesson we're going to talk about the mallet full stroke. It's very similar to the snare drum full stroke. So let's take a look. The full stroke, we want to keep our wrists low to the keyboard. What I want you to do is raise the mallets up just above our wrist. You want to pretend like there's a bouncy ball in the end of the stick. Same thing that we did for the snare drum. When you throw the mallet head down, I want it to come back up to the original height that it left at. So it'll look something like this. For the full stroke sound quality on a keyboard instrument, we want a nice, rich, full, dark sound from the keyboard. It should sound something like this. We don't want to use too much wrist and get a thin sound like this. And we definitely don't want to use too much arm or play too high and get an overbearing sound like this. Some things that we want to watch out for and want to try to avoid while playing the full stroke are playing with a downstroke like this. Not getting a nice full tone and playing too wristy. Or with too much arm like this. And we always want to make sure that we get the same sound and start and stop in the same place every single time. So it should look and sound something like this. We're going to talk about proper stance at the mallet instruments. It's very important to have your feet in the correct position and to be at the proper stance behind the mallet instrument to produce the best sound possible. For the stance, I want us to start with our feet together. What I want you to do from here is put your feet at shoulder width apart. We don't want to go too wide and stand out like this or keep our feet together like this where it throws us off balance. We want to keep it nice and relaxed at shoulder width apart. Now when we're up to the instrument with our feet in the same position, you want to make sure that you are standing in the center of whatever you are playing. We don't want to shuffle around like this every time we have to play some notes, and we definitely don't want to twist and rotate our body too much. So if I'm playing the notes C and F, I'm going to stand right in the center of that, around where the E key is. So I can comfortably play C and comfortably play F. I don't want to stand all the way off to the side like this, where I have an awkward turning motion to play these notes. So remember, feet are shoulder width apart, and we stand right in the center of whatever we're playing. Mm -hmm. 